Hello everyone, my name is Gary Hibner and I'll be taking you through working with audio in Reaper. In this course, I'm going to build up a track from scratch using only audio, be it either audio that is recorded in or audio that is imported in. I'll explain the different routing possibilities, the plugins available and other tips and tricks that you can use when working with audio. Through this course, you'll get familiar with the interface, the menus, and the way things are set up in Reaper. So don't worry if things look a bit confusing in the beginning. In this tutorial, I'm going to run over how to set up your audio devices. I'll be demonstrating this on my Mac, but the same should apply if you're using a PC. Go to the Reaper menu, Preferences, Audio, and Device. Listed under audio devices are all the devices that are currently available to me. You can see on my side there's the built-in audio device and my Mbox 2 Pro. I'm going to stick with my Mbox 2 Pro. You can also specify the sample rate. Higher sample rates give you better audio quality but require more hard drive space. And you'll determine your block size depending on if you're in the tracking or mixing stage. During tracking, you want to start off with a lower block size. But during the mixing stage, where you're adding more plugins and processing, you'll want a higher block size. I'm going to stick with a 4400 sample rate and 128 block size. But I'll increase the block size during the mixing stage. Click Apply and OK. That's the audio setup for you in a nutshell. Check in the next tutorial, where we'll go over tracks.